just do a small injection. One, two, three. <gasps> Sarah, you're next. I don't need <laughs> <laughs> Christine, hi, hi. How are good you? to see you. Welcome to Ella A. Thank you. <laughs> Did you meet Dr. Hop? No, not yet, oh, and I okay. cannot wait to. I, I know, so I can't him. wait for you to meet him too. Good to see you. Hi. So good to see you. Welcome to Youthful MD. Thank you. So what are you getting yeah. done today? Well, you need to tell me. I want to do these lines here. Uh, those but I know that, that yeah, because that's like. So we can use a tiny bit of Botox. Anytime you have an active wrinkle, such as when you purse your lips, right. or the, they call them the smoker's line sometimes, mm -hmm. we can use Botox to relax the muscle that causes yeah. it. The same around your eyes. I noticed that when you were smiling, beautiful smile, by the way. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> you have a, good. You have a few wrinkles in the corner of your eye. Yeah. We, we call, those, that? call those crow's feet wrinkles. Yeah, I love it. Smoker's and, wrinkles, uh, crow's feet. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> But again, they're created by the muscle contracting and skin mm, yeah, thin. Yeah, so if right. we relax just that area of the muscle, the wrinkle will go away. Raise your eyebrows for me. Well, your, your Botox still is still okay. working yeah. quite well there. You have, uh, Wait, wh why raise eyebrows? How can you tell? Well, um, so on Sarah, when you lift your eyebrows, you create a little bit of See wrinkling that? up yeah. there. But this is what we call an Academy Award forehead. <laughs> an Oscar, what, Oscar the Earth hole. Yeah, this is what all the presenters as well as the recipients, that's how they want their foreheads. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it looks like on the camera. It doesn't move. <laughs> yeah, right. It's perfectly smooth. It's perfectly smooth. <laughs> Whether they're presenting or they're accepting, they still want a very smooth forehead. And if they lose and crying, it's still smooth. It's still smooth. <laughs> <laughs> You look good no matter what. Second yeah? place looks great too. <laughs> Today, I, you can see the zone right here where the wrinkle is, and we're going to just stretch the skin out a okay. little bit, and we're going to inject a little Botox. Now, so what we're going to do is we're going to put on a little numbing cream so okay. it doesn't hurt whatsoever, and we'll let that take effect while I get the Botox, and we'll, we'll do the injection. All right. Ah, oh, needles are so icky. <laughs> itself isn't going to take effect for 24 to 48 hours. Let's put a little, bo little bit of the numbing cream on. Have you, there you go. This takes about uh, five or 10 minutes to take a complete effect. And when you use this, then it's completely numb. And it lasts about 20 minutes. Dr. Hobb, why did you start, why did you decide to become a plastic surgeon? I was a third year medical student and I was going to be a general surgeon, but then I rotated on plastic surgery and I realized that plastic surgery is being a surgeon surgeon. It's all about the surgery and it's all about the anatomy and uh, that's what I realized interests me. So what makes a beautiful face? A, a symmetrical face is a beautiful face. Well, uh, let's look at it the opposite. If you have a lot of asymmetry, it's not a beautiful beautiful face. In other words, everyone is a little bit asymmetrical from side to side. But when one brow is up and one brow is down, that's, that's pretty noticeable. But we're actually in the entertainment zone. We have a lot of models and actresses that are coming in. They're actually using their cosmetics to create shadow effects mm -hmm. because they don't have the architectural features that the camera is picking up. So they'll come here and we'll build up their cheekbones rather than trying to highlight lighter makeup here, darker makeup down here to give the impression. We'll actually build it up. So which models and celebrities come here? Oh, the, who doesn't come here? Really? <laughs> Kylie Jenner, did you change her face? <laughs> Kylie's a wonderful person, but I can't talk about any, per, any, any patients. But I heard that some ce celebs are your patients. We had three presenters and two recipients in the Academy Awards. Of this year? Of this year. But you're, you're going to have to guess. Okay, just tell us which category. Uh, I, I forgot. <laughs> okay. 
About one third of our patients are men, also. 三分之一的客户原来是男士 Really? So what are men getting men insecure about? Men are getting their, their、oh, forehead、everything. lines done, their frown lines done. Sometimes,、yeah. believe it or not, we can make architectural changes of the nose. Even if there's sort of a a hook coming down, we can fill it out to make it straight. So what are the what are the top three things that women come to you for? Is it is it the crow's feet? Is it the nose bridge? Is it the masseter muscle? What are the top three things? The lips. The lips. Oh yeah. 真的就是凯德珊妹妹 Kylie Jenner 的样子。原来大家都是想把唇做得更丰满。Why? Oh, they want their lips to be bigger and beautiful and luscious and kissable. That's why Kylie Jenner is the youngest self-made billionaire because women want to get their lips、yeah. plumper, bigger, fuller, luscious. And and how many is that Botox? What is a filler? Filler. And how many injections does that require? What is the cost? Usually, it's one syringe of filler. We'll do the upper and lower lip. Sometimes we go to two, and the cost is about seven hundred dollars per syringe. 七百美元，让你的唇更大。What's the second thing? Second thing is the wrinkles of these two areas, and that's Botox to reduce those wrinkles. Third one is the wrinkles here. Next is the nasal labial folds. Next, we want to build up the cheeks. We want to take down the fullness here, thin the area here, and we can even work on some of the lines of the neck with with Botox. And how much is the forehead? The forehead is runs about four hundred dollars. How much are the crow's feet? Uh, two hundred and seventy-five dollars. How much is the plumping of the cheeks? It's about eight hundred to a thousand dollars. How much is lifting? Lifting, it's around five hundred dollars. And how much is the nasal? They're about seven hundred dollars. Wow, 名媛的生活太贵了，我付不起，我走不了。But it lasts a long time. You only have to do it twice a year, maybe. 一年两次而已，也许可以付得起。It's just a little bit more expensive than some makeup. That's true. 就是比化妆品贵一点点而已，真的。Interesting. That is a really good perspective. <laughs> Now we we also have、uh, unique to our our spa here, Youthful MD, is we offer a Botox subscription. What that means is for one hundred and thirty nine dollars per month. You can have unlimited Botox. So it's almost like leasing a car. Well, I don't know. Is it leasing a face? <laughs> a leasing a face. Leasing way, beauty. The way we look at it is, you don't have to save up your wrinkles and save up your money. <laughs> 就又一边在做整形，一边是在做呃金融，也是很会有。老师也是很有商业头脑的。I'm saying you have a good business mind. <laughs> <laughs> maybe almost as good as yours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> There we go. Do the same on this side. Thank you. Bring my fingers here. Yeah. And we just do a small injection. One, two, three. <gasps> Christine, do you feel anything? No. Oh. I don't feel anything. And we're going to just wow. <laughs> make sure that she doesn't get any swelling or bruising just by applying a little cold roller. One shot there. One shot there. One shot there. If we wanted to, we could actually make this brow. Yeah, please like do that. that. <laughs> by putting a small amount just underneath the eyebrow here, and we're going to just. A small amount, just for symmetry, and we need the eyebrow over here.、And、there we go. Now it's your turn. Can I do or not do Botox? Do you guys think I need to get anything done? What is the most beautiful face? You know, the most beautiful face can be different in person than photographically. What you see on on in the movies and in print ads. But typically, the features are those sculpted sort of features、mm. that we create or accentuate、yeah. that look good on camera. Have you seen any of the Korean beauty pageants? I haven't seen. 
Let me show you. Hi, hi, hi. 我拿了韩国的选美的照片给老师看一下，他觉得这些脸怎么样 ？What do you notice? Well,、uh, I think in most of them, they have a very angular jawline. Everybody looks the same. I don't. I can't even recognize some of my friends. You know, I hate the idea of loss of individuality, which is, I think, what you're expressing. But certainly, even in my plastic surgery practice,、uh, there's a lot of patients that choose a particular nose appearance, and if it's appropriate for their face, why not? They can have that. What do you think fuels that sort of desire? Social media. Social media. <gasps> I'm right. You are correct. Wow. So they'll come in and they'll pull up an Instagram, and they'll say, "This is whose face I want." So, whose faces are the most popular? Oh, they're looking at the Kardashians, of course. So they come, they say, "I want to look like Kim Kardashian." They like certain features, yes. Wow! And then, who are your Chinese clients、uh, coming in with, you know, as role models? You know what?、Uh, there's a, a couple of actresses that we have here in the United States that,、uh, like in Crazy Rich Asians, that they point the- to. To, to the 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 girlfriend, the sister, the mother, even the sister is beautiful. They're all beautiful. That one, yeah.、Mm. And, and what about Chinese actors and actresses? Do they come in with faces of chi- of their Chinese celebs? Actors and actresses come in knowing what they want.、Mm-hmm. They know what's going to look at them. Maybe it's because they've had some type of makeup that accentuates the feature as if they had. The feature that they want, and so they're used to looking at their face and knowing what's going to look good on them. So we talked about the Asian face. We talked about you know the standard beautiful face, the faces people want. What about my face? How can we improve my face? Oh, so let's have a little fun with your face.、Um, let me get a marking pencil and I'll show you what we can do for you. All right. 好紧张哦，老师要说我的脸有啥问题？ All right, so Sarah,、uh, there's not much anti-aging to do for you.、Let、This ha- is the beauty of being Asian. <laughs> we don't, we don't age. Let me have you raise your eyebrows. Okay. Oh, well, that's very unusual. <laughs> I've never seen anyone do that. That's a first for me. <laughs> Which eyebrow do you want me to raise? That's a unique talent. <laughs> Sometimes we'll put some Botox up here as a sort of a smoothing anti-aging effect. Oscar 额头 When you raise your eyebrows, nothing will move up here except your eyebrows. That's all. Okay. Sometimes give me a big smile. Well, you don't have any wrinkles, but if you had some wrinkles here, we would put some Botox here for for anti-aging. 还好没有皱纹 Can you frown for me? Oh yes, we have to get rid of those frown lines. You know, I used to have an issue when I was younger where I'd frown all the time, and my parents thought I needed glasses. But was it about <laughs> seeing or feeling? <laughs> I had no problem seeing. It was an emotional thing.、Yeah. So a little bit of Botox, right in this area, right here. So traditionally, as an anti-aging, we will go across the forehead and put Botox here. And it will relax the muscles, and you won't have any wrinkles when you get older. And what will happen is it will relax the muscles up here, so that you'll still be able to move your eyebrows, lift your eyebrows like that. But the upper part of your forehead will be completely relaxed without wrinkles. The other anti-aging places that we traditionally do that is. Botox is placed around the eyes to prevent those crow's feet or smile lines, and sometimes we'll put some some Botox even in the upper lip to prevent those little wrinkles here and here. Specific to the Asian face is instead of just the wrinkle reduction, we will reduce the fullness of this muscle right here, what's called the masseter muscle. Are you able to squeeze down on your? On your teeth in the back, the molars,、mm-hmm. and make this pop out. Can you do that? Can you squeeze really hard? Yeah. So when you squeeze on your molars, it pops out here,、mm-hmm. and we can prevent that from happening, and also create a little more of a hollow by doing a a number of injections, right here, 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 and here, and that's just with Botox that relaxes the bulge of that muscle. 
Another area is to take away fat right here with an injectable called Kybella. And when you do that, you're softening this, bringing it in, bringing this in, and then we bring, we pull or put in filler out here in the cheek area to build up the cheek. So the goal is to build this up, thin this out, and what do you, what's the result? A nice angular sort of appearance rather than taking weight, rather than the fullness that you might have. Uh, okay. Last but not least, we have some filler to go right here. Yeah, and so that's what I need? A little bit. You're lucky to have some bridge to your nose, and sometimes we put some right at the very at tip of the nose to give it a little more projection rather than the roundness. How do you think we're doing? How do you... Does this appeal to you or is it a little, <laughs> a little bit uh, uh, too exciting? What you're lucky to have is full lips. Mm, that runs in our whole family. There you go. It doesn't run in so many families here. But, you know, I used to be teased for my lips when I was younger because I have full lips. So constantly to be like, oh, Sarah has fat lips. And I'd be like, what? I don't think my lips are fat. They, I love my lips. They used to tease Angelina and Jolie the same way. But are her lips real? Yeah, they are. They are, totally. If you look at her high school yearbook, <gasps> she has very full lips there. Angelina Jolie, actually, she is my girl. So I'm like her with her. She's always like this. Well, you made my day. So are you ready? Four. Four. <laughs> Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. 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 也有可能未来会有，怎么办呢？哎，老师回来了。Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! These are so scary. We're not really gonna do this, right? Oh, I got it! 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 Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be posting a new video each week with tips and tricks that I think will help all of us lead a better life.